Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on MATLAB basics. In this session, we are going to discuss about the loop control statements. Loop control statements change execution from its normal sequence. When execution leaves a scope, all automatic objects that were created in that scope are destroyed. MATLAB supports the following control statements. The first one is called as the break statement. It terminates the loop statement and transfers execution to the statement immediately following the loop. And the second one is the continue statement. It causes the loop to skip the remainder of its body and immediately retest its condition prior to reiterating. We will discuss about the break statement in this lecture. The break statement terminates execution of for or while loop. Statements in the loop that appear after the break statement are not executed. In nested loops, break exits only from the loop in which it occurs. Control passes to the statement following the end of that loop. This is the flow diagram. This is the conditional code. We will go to the condition. If true, it will go back to the conditional code. If false, it will come out of the loop. And here you can see that this break is attached to the end statement. Let's take an example. We will take this example to MATLAB. And then I'll explain to you what is given in this code. New script. I'll save it as A6. I'll run A6. You can see here these values have got printed. Now let's read the code. A we have assumed as 10. While A is less than 20. Currently A is 10. So yes it is less than 20. It should print the value of A. So you can see here value of A is printed as 10. A is equal to A plus 1. Now the value of A has got incremented from 10 to 11. When you go to this if statement, 11 is greater than 15. Then it should break. Currently it is not greater. So it will go back to the loop. Once it goes back to the loop, A is currently 11. 11 is less than 20, it should print the value of A that is 11. It will increment the value of 11 now. From 11 it will go to 12. 12 is not greater than 15, then it should break. Currently it is not, so it will not break. Again it will come back to the loop. 12 less than 20, the value will be printed. The value of A will now increment from 12 to 13. 13 again is not greater than 15, so it will not break. It will come back to this while statement. So A is 13, it is less than 20, it will print the value of A as 13. Value will increment to 14. 14 is not greater than 15, hence no break. Again it will go back, 14 less than 20, it will print the value, value will increment to 15. Now 15 greater than 15 is not correct. Hence it will break out and it will come out of the loop. So the last value printed is 15. And after 15, no other value will be printed. Though 16, 17, 18, 19, these four values also could have satisfied this condition. But it will not go because it has been broken over here because 15 is not greater than 15. So that's how the break statement works. Now suppose if I change this value of 15 to 18. I'll save it and I'll run A6 again. You can see here 16, 17, 18. These values have also got printed because they are also not greater than 18. Only when 18 was greater than 18 over here, the loop got broken. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to use the break statement. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.